Well, howdy groupies, this is Mark from Groupable and today we're going to go over how you record payments from members and non-members. So I'm going to go ahead here and log in. And you're going to see here I'm landing on my dashboard for my local group with my list of members and I can see I've got some guys here that owe me some dues. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on the amount owed by Charles here, which is going to bring me to his payment history screen. Shows me what his member types is, what he owes for dues, and his history of payments here, where I can click the plus sign and actually start recording a payment from him. First thing I'm going to do is fill in the header with what the date is, the receipt type, let's say he sent me a check, and I could put in the check number here so that I've got that in my records. And he sent me a check for a total of $370. $270 of that is for his dues. So I'm going to select the dues income account off the list here. And he also sent us $100 towards our capital campaign. And I'm going to go ahead and post that out to his record here. And you'll see here that it split out the dues between what he, the balance that he owed for 2021 what he owed for 2022 and then gave me that donation to the capital campaign there. Now, some of the funds we receive, they don't come from members or maybe they don't come from members directly. Like my lodge, that I'm a Masonic Lodge I belong to, we have the box where members into meetings, people throw a couple bucks in at the end. It's for charitable purposes. And so you gotta have a way to record that. So on the menu here under financials, I've got non-member payments here so I can go there and every local group has a a party or a contact on it called the non-member and this is just a convenient way of getting to that particular record here the non-member to record that payment and so I can click the plus sign here I can say it's cash this was from the box of remembrance I can put in, let's say there was $27 in there at the end of the meeting, what account that's for, and that is for unrestricted donations, and I can post that out, and now that's recorded there, and that will show on all my budget reports, my income and expenses, it'll show on all those screens here, so if I go to finances, income and expenses here, I will see under donations here, I've got to dig into donations. I've got some unrestricted donations in here and in there there's that 8302021 that $27 donation that we recorded. So let's say that you receive income on an ongoing basis from a particular individual like let's say you own your building and you rent out office space to your local realtor who has his office in your building there. And so you don't really want to record that against that non-member record. We want to actually put in a guest record for the realtor so that we can record that income on that individual's record here. So I'm going to go to the menu here. I'm going to go members and contacts. And I'm going to go to add member. If you're on the V2EE engine, you're just going to have add a contact here. It's basically the same thing. So I'm going to go here. We're going to pretend that our uh, realtor's name is Dan Johnson and that he's at one Main Street, Troy, New York. And we're gonna go ahead and add him as a guest right there. Go ahead and save that out. So now we've got that person here. So I can just actually go down here to financials and add payments. And I can just search for that particular individual. And there's Dan Johnson and he is not a member so he doesn't have like a member type and dues payments and stuff like that just a person but he pays us rent so i'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign here and i'm going to put in the amount he's 500 and uh say 50 dollars the receipt type is a check i've got an account here i believe for rent yep i've got an account for rent and remember if you don't have the account there you can always select the parent account click the plus sign here, fill in the name, click away from it, and that will create that account for you. So he's paying $550 in rent, and that is for 
September of 2021. I make a note of that there. I go ahead and post that out on his record. That way I can always look him up. I always have that record of what he's done with us. I have that history. I, and it's not all blended into the generic non-member record. So that's how we record all the payments from individuals, be they just kind of a generic non-member thing, like a box of remembrance from members, particularly like when they're paying dues or giving you a donation and from non-members who may be giving you a donation or maybe they rent or some other purpose. 